previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Let's go. That's not the Kenny I know in there. I thought I could save him. Anything? Clem, 
We've got to hurry. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Jane! Jane! Thank God! Stop! Relax! You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> we can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You think we should spread out? Go we'll spread out. You said you would stay with me. light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. all right no I'm not all right but I'll be a lot better once we get with the others I need to make sure everyone else made it out Luke Sarah Kenny god damn it what if they aren't there if they aren't nothing we can do about it don't even say things like that fine sorry Jesus I don't even know if we're safe what if the herd is still following us we're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but... Maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it. But Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you.
<laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We can't just abandon it. Hey, whoa. I never said you should abandon it. I just mean that sometimes you can't protect everyone you'd want to. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well... Besides, how's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny, he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. We need to figure out what to do. We need Kenny's help. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him? Okay. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried about worried, you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem. How'd it go? It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's are at. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. 
I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike. Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's... situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends <clears throat> all right jackpot bet these walkers got some good stuff that one's not coming back see what else he's got yeah we should check him out but you know why right only because they're fresh take a look Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. 
But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. It's never easy, but I don't really know how it's supposed to be. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. He's your friend. You should do this. Goodbye. Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. That's what I'm afraid of. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. No, Dad. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. work. 
You know what you're doing. Why? Why? Now watch this. I've got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, Era, let's get a I'm look not. at what we've got on deck. Ow, what the fuck? You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? Just get it together. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? Come on. If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. If you think Thank that's you. best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. We need to keep it going somehow. Damn it, don't do this. Let's find a way to keep it on. Just, just, just calm down. What do you want me to do? thinking if we lean him on the like horn you? it'll keep honking and draw the walkers just like moths to a flame give me a hand <sighs> 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 Come on. Crap. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Block this! Hurry! Ah! 
Cheryl, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door... Luke, are you alright? I'm, uh, I'm walking. Can't do much else, though. Sarah... She's another story. I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. that They're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Yeah. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... while she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. What if we help her to her feet and just get her moving? No, no, it, it's not gonna work, okay? She freaks out anytime you get near her. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. I hate that I've lost so many people, but it's made me stronger. I've learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. Say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you. But you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. <gasps> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time! Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. Jane and me came here from the meetup spot. Becca's there, and Kenny, and everybody wanted to make sure you were okay. They all miss you and, and want to see you. We're going to go back there and be with them, okay? I can't. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke! Get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find! Can we use this? It's not big enough! The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging! Find something else! Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Luke, 
You first. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her! Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Sarah, I, uh, I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. You left her, too. I know. I know. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. Yeah, I guess, I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem... I wouldn't have to. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Did she get turned? Do you know? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah wasn't dangerous to anybody. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, 
Where's Sarah? And Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Well... Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does?